everybody welcome to my youtube channel i've recently done a little bit of redesigning in my doll room so i wanted to do a brand new doll room tour um i thought about just showing the parts that i've redesigned but i've decided just to go through the whole tour again so that you guys can see some new stuff that i have and for those of you who are new to my channel you can see the entire tour in case you haven't seen the tour before now most of the furniture in the room is from ikea so if you're trying to figure out how to design your own doll room you can keep that in mind as i'm going through so i want to start the tour over by the door so you can see how i've got some storage set up over there okay over here by the door area i have my ikea tiny house where I keep my tiny kids and it it works well because it's a wall shelf so it doesn't take up floor space I have a lot of tinies I actually had to rehome some of my tinies this year because I have so many of them they're just so stinking cute but I keep all their stuff in here and so that's there you can kind of see here on the floor too I have this big pink love sack bean bag and I like to sit in there sometimes and just look around and you know enjoy my room here on the wall I have my pin banner and I've got lots of pins on it I really have have started enjoying collecting pins I have a lot of doll related pins you can see some of those here for example I have a beautiful Chrissy pin if you're familiar with Chrissy and Beth she had these pins made for Chrissy's 50th birthday this year and then I've got various other doll pins I've got a pigeon doll pin so my real doll pins, Atelier Mamoni, Nikki Britt made this pin, so lots of different pins and stuff uh, here. Next to that I have a jewelry organizer and inside the jewelry organizer I use it to organize shoes and it works really well for me because I can keep all the little shoes together and when I go to look for a pair they're usually right here unless I didn't put them back where they belong but generally speaking I can find what I need here and it makes it really easy for me to find my shoes. So jewelry organizers are great as shoe organizers. On the back of the door I have a, a real shoe organizer but instead of shoes I use it to organize wigs. So up at the top I keep my smaller wigs and then all the way down they go up by size so I have everything organized by size and then on the bottom I have some wig boxes and some other sorts of accessories so this shoe organizer came from Target and it works really well for wig organization now up against this wall I have an American Girl cabinet and it's full of doll clothes I'll just show you for example in one door there are some of my 18 inch doll shoes and there's some things crammed in here in the other door there's a lot of clothes but i cannot open that because they will come spilling out because they're crammed in there so whenever i need something out of there i kind of pull everything out and then i put it back in so that's the way that goes but maximizing all the space in the room on top of the cabinet i have all of my trinket box kids dolls and in the back are the chunky MSD and they're, they can wear American Girl size clothes, which is really nice. And in the front, I've got the two slimmer MSD dolls that I have of hers. Now on the right, there's my mini Dolphy Dream Lillaroo. She will be moving to a new home soon because Kim Arnold is coming out with a new trinket box kid that I want. Um, that's going to be in this chunky 18 inch size and so she's going to be parked right here where Lularoo is right now. Now I've also hung up my Atelier Mamoni artwork. So one of those, the one in the middle is a print that I got from L Doll, but the ones on the sides are the artwork that come with the dolls with the COAs. So now let's move on to the shelves that are inset into the wall. All right, in my inset shelves, which my brother built for me, I have at the top of this one, I have this little troll guy by Barrett Dodds. He's an artist that visits my local Renaissance Fair every year. And beside him, I have my Forever Virginia Marigold. She's an artist full set. And I think they look really cute together. On the next shelf, I have my Anna Salvador dolls, Emily and Olivia. And I'd like to get a poppy from her. Um, hopefully, if they do have L doll again next year, they will 
um, I'll be able to get one from her. So, because I'm going to plan to go to that. But they haven't announced whether there's going to be an L doll in 2020, as far as I know. But if there is one, I'm going to go. Hopefully, she'll be there and I'll be able to pick up a poppy. On the bottom shelf, I have my Liz Frost artist, one of a kind, Maddie, little mini Maddie. And she has an outfit made by Liz, face up by Liz, whole doll is by Liz. Next to her, I have a My Meadow Kira. Her face up is by Charlene Smith, and she is on pre-order right now. So if you watch this video in the next couple of weeks after I put it out, you could still pre-order that doll if you wanted to. On the bottom, I added this. There's a on the bottom bottom. There's a Calyx shelf from IKEA, which I added new to the room for storage, both in the drawers, but then on top as well. I have these um, organizers, these racks for my doll clothes. And I thought that three racks was going to be enough, but it turns out that you can see they're already full. So I'm likely going to be adding a couple more racks to um, accommodate the rest of my doll clothes. So, oh well. All right, next on the shelves in the wall, up at the very top here, I got my two new adorable Pongratz dolls, wooden dolls that are handmade in Germany that my husband brought back for me from Germany. How how um, coincidental is it that I'm a doll collector and I married a guy who has to travel to Germany all the time for business? So that kind of worked out for me. On the next shelf, I have my gorgeous doll essence dolls. I've got Laura, um, Adra in Wonderland, and then Melf in the middle. And those girls are super, super pretty. Laura and Adrian in Wonderland are both award winners, so I think that's pretty cool. And I think there's room for one more doll essence doll on here. So I have all three of Tatiana's resin dolls. I know that there's going to be another one coming, so I think I'll be able to slide uh, Melf over to the side and fit another doll right in here. So on the very on the bottom shelf, I have two of my Nikki Britt MSD dolls. I've got Tootie and Pepperani. They're the same sculpt, but Tootie's in chocolate and Pepperani's in a fair resin. So they're really, really sweet dolls with gorgeous faces. And then on the bottom, under the shelf, I have one of my doll dioramas that Shira made for me. And I love this room. It's my pastel room. It's kind of a USD size room. It was made specifically for my Atelier Mamoni Petusas. But I love this room um, for taking pictures and for setting up settings and changing doll clothes and things like that. It's a lot of fun to play in. So I really love having this. And now I have a permanent place where I can display it and where it's not, um, it's not like sitting on the floor or sitting in an awkward position. It's got its own home now here on this shelf. So that's nice. Back to the shelves in the wall. On the very top shelf, I have two. Kathy Cruz dolls. Both of them came from Germany. Um, on the shelf below them, I have my Wendy Weird and Phoebe Phantom from Nikki Britt, and they've done an outfit swap. So Phoebe's really supposed to be in the all purple, and Wendy's really supposed to be in the black, but I think they look really interesting with their outfits switched around. Underneath them, I have another Phoebe and Wendy pair. However, they are one of a kinds, and they are Hogwarts students. So Phoebe is, tan, this is Tan Phoebe, and she's a Ravenclaw student, and then there's Harry Potter. So this is the Wendy Sculpt Harry Potter, and if you look, he does have his scar. So, super sweet doll. Underneath them, I have my huge Mickey and Minnie plushes that I bought the very first time I went to Disney World. And I had saved all of my birthday money for like two years because I knew I was going to Disney World and I bought these two. And so I've never really had a great place to display them because they're so big. But now that I have this here, I can set them here and I think they look really good here. And they're really special to me. They have a lot of sentimental value because they're from that first trip and it was just such a magical trip. And um, I really love them. So I've got them sitting there. Up here on the shelf, back to the wall shelves, the very top I have my Wild Imagination, Elwyn, Rufus, and Prudence dolls. 
The next shelf down, I have my Atelier Mamoni Mamoni dolls, and these are two of my most favorite dolls in my collection. I absolutely love them. And I originally fell in love with Mamoni when I actually saw her in this pink cat dress. I saw this cat dress and I thought, I want that doll in that dress. And it took me a while, but I finally got her and I've been a huge fan of her dolls ever since. Next to them for right now, I've got my Newt Scamander doll from Tonner Company. And that doll, my mom bought him for me at Christmas time. And I'm pretty sure that is the last new doll that the Tonner Comp Company came out with because they released him and then they announced that they would be closing shops. So I'm really fortunate and grateful that I was able to get him. I hate that we're not gonna get the rest of the Fantastic Beast line, but it is what it is. I got him, so he's here and he's here to stay. On the bottom shelf, I have more of my Atelier Mimoni collection. I've got Nina One in the center. Now, Nina One is the very first doll that Lola ever sculpted. And around her are the Nina Two dolls. So I have one of each, I have two of one sculpt and then I have one of each of the other sculpts. So that's them. On the far shelf, I have my Nikki Britt dolls and, or more of Nikki Britt dolls. This is Wendy and Peter, but they're technically the Liam sculpt. So they were from Modern Doll a couple of years ago. Underneath that, I've got Wendy and Phoebe. And then underneath that, I've got two Adelines. And it's interesting because on this shelf, um, the left doll is artist painted by Nikki and the right doll is factory painted. On the floor, you'll see two of my very big dolls, which are my My Size Barbie, which I got when I was a kid, and also my big Cupid doll, which my grandma had before I was born, but it became my doll, and that's why I love Cupid so much, is because of her. So, that's them. Now let's take a look at the shelves. Alright, one of the biggest changes I made in the room is that I added a fourth shelf to this wall. So there used to only be three shelves here along this wall, but I've gone and I've added a fourth shelf to give me more room for more dolls. So let's have a closer look inside the shelves now so you guys can see what's in them. Okay. And my first shelf on the top shelf, I have a lot of my vinyl dolls, a lot of my Cupid dolls, a couple of my Shirley Temple dolls, a few of my Chrissy dolls. I've got these Pinky Cooper dolls, which are so cute. I cannot believe these dolls were not more popular than they were. They came out, I would say it's like six to eight years ago. I'm not even a dog person, but I thought these dolls were super, super cute. But anyway, I have a bunch of them, but there's two of them here. So just a variety of things on that top shelf. On the next shelf down, on the back row, I have all of my Ingle Pup dolls from their Disney dolls. And I had always wanted these when I visited Disney World and I was never able to afford them. So I've been trying to get them all uh, on the secondary market now. And they're, they can be difficult to track down, but I've been able to get quite a few of them. So they're, they're really cool dolls to me and they're really special to me. On the front row of this shelf, I've got my Tonner Small World doll, also Disney, if you're noticing the Disney theme here. My Birdine Creedy Love Is dolls, my Pigeon doll, my Nefercane Mystery, and this is another Birdine Creedy doll. On the next shelf down, I have a kind of a mix match of things. I've got some Spanish vinyl. I've got another Ingle Pup doll that a friend gave me because she knows I collect them. I've got some Mexican vinyl, which are Prima Perez dolls. I've got, um, my husband brought me this doll from Prague. This is a German witch tail doll, which are really super cute. They have the cutest expressions. Now, on the very, very bottom shelf, there is... This is a Gone with the Wind doll that my grandma bought me. And on the back, I have two BFC Ink dolls, a Gots doll, a couple of singing Disney dolls, Kathy DiBella dolls from France, which they are grow hair dolls, which I love grow hair dolls, my Only Kids and Cats doll, a Cabbage Patch doll, 
that I got from the Cabbage Patch Hospital in Georgia. And then over here, this doll's really special. She is a Cuban doll that my brother-in-law bought me in Cuba. So she's an actual Cuban doll. And the one sitting in her lap, this is a little German doll that my aunt bought in Germany when she was, a, or my aunt didn't buy it. She was a kid, but my grandparents bought it for my aunt when they lived in Germany. So that's the first shelf. Let's look at the second. Sh second shelf up top, I've got a large majority of my Chrissy family, including my Brazilian Chrissy dolls. So I have some Brazilian Chrissy dolls named Crazy, which are really cool dolls in my opinion. So that's on the top shelf. The second shelf, I have all my American Girl dolls from when I was a kid, plus Elizabeth, because I got Elizabeth at a flea market, and I thought she needed to be with Felicity. So, but the rest of them, those are the ones I had when I was a kid. I got them aging in range from eight years old to 16 years old. So that's that was the collection I got as a kid. In the front, I've got the Cruislings, which I got these from Germany before they were available here in the States. But these are really inexpensive dolls. You can get them on Amazon. And if you're looking for a doll to collect, these are really, really sweet dolls. They're really well made. They pose great. They have all these little joints and you can do all kinds of fun things with them. So I highly, highly recommend Cruislings if you're looking for a new doll to get but you don't want to get something too expensive they're awesome i've got my ron and hermione from tonner a couple of welly wishers here a glitter girl some more cruislings and a skipper doll the next shelf down i have is mostly nancy famosa dolls so i love nancy famosa there are summer re-editions which are the remakes and some are actually very vintage um, and then in the front of them, I have two more Tonner. I got Harry Potter and Draco. This is an MC Squared girl that I got. I picked her up at the flea market, but she was super cute and fully dressed. And for a dollar, I could not pass her up. This is a Birdie and Creedy doll that I won on a Facebook um, competition. And then a couple more Skippers dolls from the 90s. 90s Skipper has the prettiest face. I just love her face i think she is so gorgeous and i just i can't pass up 90 skipper stalls when i see them all right and the very bottom shelf is all except for one doll those are all famosa dolls from the nancy famosa family so the little ones in front are leslie famosa and then there's lucas he's sitting down there the rest are nancy's and there's one more mc square doll there that i picked up at toys r us when they were going out of business oh skipper fell but let's move on to the third shelf okay this is my new shelf so up top i put all of my korean dolls the all the doom dolls all the blings dolls and all the selly cat or kelly cat i've heard someone else pronounce it kelly cat so i'm not sure if it's selly cat or kelly cat either way so all my Korean girls are up here and a couple of boys. I have one Japanese doll up here, which is the Mel Chan doll in the back right. So I thought they were super cute on that shelf. And um, that's my little kawaii shelf. The next shelf down, I made an SD doll shelf because now I have three SD size dolls. I've got uh, Sailor Moon and I've got Ondine from La Belle Du Jour. And then I have Smart Doll Summer. So they needed their own shelf. In the meantime, before I get other SD dolls, I've put some other dolls in here. Um, I've got Kiki Pop here. And then I've got two or three more Nikki Britt dolls. I've got two little Pepper Annie. I've got Pepper Annie and Tootie. They're the same sculpt, but Tootie is the chocolate. Pepper Annie's the fair. I've got a big Ella. And she's kind of top heavy. Her head is really heavy, so she has to sit down. Then behind them, I have Amy from f &B Doll Studio, which is one of my favorite resin dolls of all time. She is so gorgeous. And then I've got my um, dark chocolate Zia here from, I think they called her Dark Tan from L Doll. She was a special doll for L Doll this past year. So for SD dolls, I think that I would, I really want to get the other doll from La Belle Du Jour. I think her name is pronounced Nyad, but I might be saying that incorrectly. But she posted one for sale, and I tried really hard to get it, and I was too late. I was at work. She, it was a one-of-a-kind doll, and um, 
I didn't get her so now it's like now that I've seen her in that color I don't know if I want another color but I think eventually I will get one to go with on Doom because I think that would be cool so underneath that is a shelf of 80s and 90s dolls and I thought that I would have all this space for my 80s and 90s dolls I started putting them on there and the shelf got full super fast but I've got my Rainbow Bright, all of my Little Miss dolls, PJ Sparkles. Um, in the front, I've got some Care Bears that I've had since I was a kid. These two are called Herself the Elf. And I think they're really sweet. Um, so, And this Pooh Bear I've had since I was a baby. So a lot of that stuff is really um, sentimental to me. The very bottom shelf of this shelf is... Uh, just kind of a mix match of things. My Hot Looks dolls are here. And then I've got one of my French Chrissies, some Harry Potter dolls, some antique dolls. So that's just a really mix match of things down there. So now let's look at the last shelf. On the last shelf up top, I have a lot of my Juanita Perez collection. A few Nancy dolls, a few random Barbies of different kinds. And in the front sitting down, those are two of my Tonner toys. The one on the left is a little mismatched, and the one on the right is a pretty girl. So there's a lot of different things on that top shelf. The second shelf are all my American girls that I've gotten as an adult. So that's those girls back there. There's some Barbies mixed in, an MC Square doll. And in the front, I've got all my Cherry Mary Muffin dolls. And one of them is a Small World doll, if you can tell which one that is. It's the one here. And there's another Small World doll over to the right. So I have a thing for Small World dolls if you haven't noticed that trend. The next shelf down are all my Hearts for Hearts dolls, which I think they're super well-made dolls. Some of the older ones from the first runs, their eyes are starting to turn pink, which is a shame. Mine are in pretty good condition. They haven't turned too much, but you'll see them sometimes out at secondhand stores and the eyes will be really pink and that's a pretty typical thing that happened with them. Also have a Spanish doll, a German doll, and then a Annette Hemstedt BB down on that shelf. And then the very bottom shelf is a lot of more random stuff. Um, I've got a Maru and Friends doll, my Zorgnazi doll, some Iranian play dolls, and some more Nancy dolls are down there. So just again, a lot of stuff that didn't fit in any particular place made it down there. Now over here, I kept this um, shelving unit, which I had before with my craft table. And I usually keep my light box up here, but I took it out for this video. But I keep this doll diorama that Shira made me in the light box. But it has a permanent place now to be set up so that it's not, again, it's got a nice permanent place to stay. And I, I really like that. Now up here on the wall, again, making use of all the space, so I've got as many wall shelves as I can. I've got this shelf, which inside of it, I've got all of my little darlings across the bottom back. And then in front of them, I've got all of my Atelier Mamoni Patusas, which are some of my favorites. So they're here. On the top shelf, I've got a lot of my Jim Shore Disney figurines, and then behind them, my Adamaru dolls. And then you see a space back there for a new doll of who could it be? I don't know, but I've got space to grow, which is great. In the very corner, I've got one of the little kids and cats dolls from Bonica with the Bonica outfit on. On top of this, I have my Bob Mackie Barbies um, that I've been trying to collect all of them. So some of those I've had, or four of those I've had since I was a kid. A friend of mine knew I was trying to get them all and she got me the, the gold one in the center, which was the very first one that was released. So that's that. Again, using all the space that I have available. So not only do I have dolls in the shelves, I have dolls on top of the shelves. So up top, you'll see all of my animators collection dolls in the very back up against the wall. And then in front of them, I've got a lot of different plushes, some of my Cabbage Patch dolls. Of particular note, if you see the Little Mermaid and the Alice in Wonderland doll, I got those from Tokyo, Japan, uh, from Tokyo Disneyland in Japan. And those were two dolls that I really wanted and I really loved them. Some more stuff from my childhood, Magic Nursery dolls. And then in the very corner, I've got two of my limited edition Disney dolls and then 
Oh, well, four actually total because I have the Robin Hood and Marion dolls as well. They're limited edition dolls. And then some other dolls from my childhood there. So just trying to use all the space that I can to display as much as I can. Okay, one of the things that happened when I added a new shelf on the back wall is I had had a net that held all my plushes and I had to take that down. So I've been trying to find creative ways to display my plushes. So up on the window um, balance there, you'll see I've displayed some of my favorite plushes up top and that seems to be a good home for them. So that worked out. But I also added two of these CD shelves from Ikea and I thought they would be perfect because they're so adjustable and it's not like the big shelves where you adjust a shelf and you have to do a ton of dolls in one shelf. This is super adjustable to just a few dolls. So I've got some spaces here to grow. I've got my Popovi Landy on the top shelf for right now. I'm probably going to bring that shelf down and have her standing. Underneath her I've got my Mini Fee Chloe and a couple of rubber dolls that I picked up at a um, thrift store. Over to the left I've got my Toby Froud original which I am so excited about the new Dark Crystal series that's going to be coming out. It's super exciting. And he's got my Wanda frogs there. And then under them I've got my My Little Ponies from when I was a kid and some other random things kind of stuck in there. Over on the right you'll see my Alice in Wonderland doll from Jennifer Latham Robinson Outsider Dolls. She's my only silicone doll and she's just a lot of fun. She's super cute, very detailed. I'd like to get one of her big dolls to add to my collection as well because I really like her bigger dolls too. And then under that I've got a couple more of my Birdie and Creedy Love Is girls. And then on the left shelf, I've got some stuff from when I was a kid. Like if you go all the way down, you've, I've got my quince here. And then my friend knew I had been looking for one of these and he sent me one of these. And then down below that, my A-Zone girls. And then under them, my Spectra dolls. Another friend of mine sent me this doll. She knows how much I love 80s and 90s dolls. So I thought those, are, those shelves are perfect for that kind of thing, those little dolls like that. Now another thing I put up is I have one of these picture ledges which I keep little knickknacks and things on and I added two more. So I added one here and here and these dolls, these are like my Asian vinyl dolls. I think they're all from China. So Boca, Mui Chan, Hachichi, and Halala, I think they fit up there perfectly. Plus all my Funko Pops and then other various things just on these shelves here which I really like. Above that on the top shelf I've got, I didn't really change that much, that shelf was always there, but I did move Laura's portrait from Epcot up there um, because it was where these three shelves were so I moved her up there. Now another thing that I added to the room was I added shelves across the top. So I did not used to have these three shelves going across the top of the room. But I added those there and I've put some of the plushes there as well for display and I don't know that that's the permanent way these things are going to go but for now it works. I may get up there and rearrange those in the future but I think they look pretty good and it gets the things off the floor and I'm making use of all the space that I possibly can in the room. So that's the idea. Alright guys, thank you very much for coming along on the tour with me. I know it was kind of long, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in the video, please leave them for me in a comment below. I'm always happy to do video requests if you have comparison requests or you want more details about a doll. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos, so just let me know if that's something that you're interested in. If you like what you've seen here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.